Hi guys, this is Coach Jen from Fit Club and I want to talk to you about using MyFitnessPal. It is a great fitness app that we use here and it's helped us get to our goals. First thing you want to do is go to Google Play or your Apple Store and download that app. It's free. So it is called MyFitnessPal made by Under Armour. To have the best success with this app, I want you to get a smartwatch, a food scale, and a body scale of some sort. You can use your scale from home or you can stop here at Fit Club and we will hook you up. Next thing you want to do is set up your profile in MyFitnessPal. So open up the app just like I'm doing here on my phone. It's going to ask you a few questions. The first one is going to be how much you weigh. Then it's going to ask you how much you want to weigh and how many, how many pounds that you would like to lose per week. It gives you different options there. My recommendation is to just lose 0.5 pounds per week. It's going to ask you next your activity level. Not very active means under 10,000 steps a day and about four to five workouts a week. Lightly active is if you're banging out 12,000 steps daily and doing eight to 10 workouts per week. Active is when you reach 20,000 steps or more and you're doing 10 to 15 works out, work out a week. So if you are a person who works out average, then you're looking at not very active is what you want to choose in MyFitnessPal as your activity level. So once you've entered all that information into MyFitnessPal, MyFitnessPal is going to give you the amount of calories that you should have on a daily basis. Those calories are based off all the information you gave MyFitnessPal and that's where you want to start. So if it says 1360 calories, that is your goal for the day. So you, as you can see here on my app, so I'll go back here. I'm going to open up my fitness pal. Boom. Let's say I entered all that information. As you can see, it gave me 1420 calories that I should be consuming in a day. Do not go under those calories. You want to try and eat 1400 calories per day, no matter what based on my numbers, of course. Now, if we go over to the little tab that says me, you're going to see my weight. So I guess the whole world sees my weight right there. That's okay. Um, and how many calories I should, should be consuming. Now, I want you to next go to update your goals. You'll see it right there. Now, as you can see, there's my weight, my goal weight. Uh, weekly goal, lose 0.5 pounds per week. And my activity level, not very active. So my nutrition goals is the next thing I want to tackle. I'm going to hit, it says calories based on carbs, fats, and proteins. So you're going to click onto it. Now automatically your fitness pal will give you 50% carbs, which is not our goals here at Fit Club. So we want to click onto our macros and we're going to switch them up. So you're going to take that protein and roll it until you get to 40. So we want 40% protein in our diet, 30% fat and 30% carbs, which see at the bottom equals 100. So if you were off, the bottom would be off. So you want to make sure you're at 100%. 40% carbs, 30 fats, 30 carbs. Okay, now that we're all set up, you are going to start tracking your food. I want you to take one week and track all the food that you're eating right now. It has a scanning option. It has a search option, which I'll show you. And um, we want to see if you are, in fact, eating that many calories, if you're going over, if you're going under, and if you're hitting your 40, 30, 30, which is the 40% protein, 30% fat, 30% carbs. So if you look on your screen here, I'm going to go to my diary. That's where you're going to calculate all your food. Breakfast. You're going to plus the breakfast here. Now right here is where we have a scanning. You can scan all your food and most food have a barcode on it. So you can use your phone as a camera, scan that barcode. It'll give you the exact amount of calories per serving. Shut that off. Or you can simply search for food. So I'm going to tell you all of the fast food chains are in here. There's so much in here. So let's say, um, let's go, Jerome. I know you want to know about sour cream donuts. Let's see. Sour cream donut from wherever. 
check out these calories here. So sour cream donut, let's see if I can even get right down to Tim Hortons. There you go. Sour cream, cream glazed donut at Tim Hortons is 340 calories. Okay? So those of you who eat a six pack of those, boy, you have eaten all your calories for the day, certainly. Now, if you click on it, it's going to show you that it's, it's for one donut, and half of it is fat and half of it is carbs. You have only three grams of protein in that sucker. So this app is so, so good where it dials right into the food you're eating and lets you know right down to the nutrients. See how you can travel down here? See how much sodium is in there, potassium, carbs, sugars, 29 grams of sugar. Okay, now let's try something a little bit more healthy, but yet still sugar. Let's go apple. You can't scan an apple, but you can search for an apple. So we're here in our search engine. It's going to show you all the apples. And if you look, there's a Fuji apple, apple country. It's got all the name brands in here. So I just want you to pick one. I'm just going to go with medium apple. 80 calories, all carbs. So a lot of people, when they think of carbs, they think of breads. But we are also measuring our fruits and vegetables as carbs as well. So what I want you to do is simply go through this app and track all of your food that you're eating. I want you to scan it, I want you to search it, and if you're making a recipe, you can also go to the three dots on top. And, oh, I'm sorry, you go to add food, and that little plus sign on the right-hand top side here, you can create a food, or you can create a meal, or you can create a recipe. So if you go to create a recipe, enter ingredients manually, you're gonna say, I don't know, let's say stew. I'm going to make some stew. How many servings? 12 servings is going to be in my stew. Next, add ingredients. I'm going to scan my chili. I'm going to, or sorry, I'm going to scan the beef. I'm going to scan the spices. I'm going to scan the oil, the onions, the um, chili peppers, whatever you put in your, in your chili. I want it all scanned. It takes a while to do, but once it is in here, it's in here forever. So if it's a staple in your family that you eat all the time, you can literally just pull up your stew again, punch it in, and it's all good to go. So once you're done making your meals, it'll save it for you. I can't show you the whole thing because obviously I don't have it going, but if you need help with this, I could certainly help you. Um, here's the vegan protein that I eat every day. So I have it with water, and you can see it's 40... Per scoop, let's just go per scoop here, 100 grams, or sorry, 100 calories per scoop, 20 grams of protein, one carb. So it's very good. Okay, guys, so one more thing. I just want to show you a day in the life of me, okay? So if I go up here where it says today, it's going to show me my calendar. So you can go way back. Now, when I did a challenge, which this is what I'm extending to you is a challenge, I, it was 2018, and it was September, October, November, okay? So let's just go then. So here's September. The challenge started on the 24th, I believe. Now, my goal from my fitness pal said, as you can see on the left-hand side, that I had to eat 1360 for calories based on the knowledge that I gave my fitness pal. As you can see, I punched in my exercise, and that day on a Monday, you never miss a Monday, I exercised a lot. So what you have to eat, you have to consume your goal plus your exercise. So I had to eat 2,300 calories that day. As you can see by the calories remaining, minus six, I definitely almost got to my goal. So look at, look at what I was eating back then. I had proats. So what proats is is overnight oats. Fit Club gave us a recipe for that, so I put in the recipe my, myself, and I used it daily. Um, so this is the recipe that I created. You can see how much carbs, fat, and protein is in there. Next, I had a McDonald's coffee with cream and an espresso shot every day, so I was able to find that in the search engine. And a protein bar was like my mid-morning snack. At lunchtime, I had a chicken breast, but I cooked it in coconut oil. So you can see the coconut oil right there is all fat. Um, 
my chicken breast right here, there's the breakdown. It's 21 point, or sorry, 24.1% grams and a little bit of fat. And then I was eating it with uh, cauliflower veggie tots, which I scan the bag, um, and asparagus, which I guessed as three spears is what I was eating. So that was for lunch. For dinner, I had made some pasta with uh, tomato and basil and goat cheese, which I created that recipe. And as a dessert, I had Greek yogurt, which I scanned, and I put in a scoop of the protein that I was eating. And those two equaled to 838 calories for my dinner. Snacks. This is where I always go wrong is with the snacks. We had, or I had, almonds. So one ounce of almonds is about 24 almonds. Like I can easily crush a bag of almonds, but this is, I did it. I counted it out and this is all I ate for this day. Um, cranberries, I scanned the bag. Cucumbers, I just guessed that it was 0.2 of a cup. I cut it up, put it on side for my snack. Um, cherry tomatoes, six tomatoes. Look at that. It's only 19 calories, but you can see there's a lot of carbs in it. Um, celery, four sticks apple and almond butter and pop crisps which were like um like a thinner rice cake so all that you guys and my exercise right here so you can see it keeps you this is your diary of your whole day you got breakfast lunch dinner snacks and exercise so i rode my bike to work and back i did two workouts so that equaled a thousand calories that i burnt in that day now if you go to my macros, which is what we were talking about, the proteins, fats, and carbs, you can see that my goal for protein was 30%, and I hit my goal, okay? My fat was supposed to be 30, and I went over a little bit at 33%, and the protein was supposed to be 40, but I didn't quite make it at 37, but that is close, okay? So every day, you want to focus on trying to hit those macros no matter what you eat. Um, now, the key to success is to be consistent. What I want you to do, you can certainly eat the same thing every day and keep doing this every day, but I want you to sit on your couch the day before this happens. So yesterday, I would have sat on my couch, planned this day out, made sure it worked with my macros, and then today, I would know exactly what I was eating and knowing that I'm on track. So if you look at how great I did that day, let's look at the next day. So you see this arrow right here? Next day. Look at that. I was super close to my goals again. Next day, super close. Next day, super close. Next day. And now your body is going to start functioning like a machine. If you have 90% fat in one day, 10% carbs, and hardly any protein, you're, and then the next day you have a whole bunch of protein and no fat, your body doesn't know what's going on. It will not release any fat, any uh, body fat at all. It's just going to be confused and not know what to expect. So your goal is to get those calories in, focus on getting the macros, and focus on being consistent. I promise you, if you do it for five days straight, you will notice a huge difference. I noticed huge changes in one week of being consistent. Let me show you what my week looked like. Week. As you can see, so the blue is the carbs, red is the fat, and the protein is green. If I look, show you week, that's one week, two weeks, three weeks. You see how consistent my numbers were at the time? I brought my body fat down to 13% by doing this. It took me 12 weeks, but I did it. Um, everything is going to happen slowly, but you're going to start to feel better as you get rid of those foods that below you and as you become aware of how many calories are in each item that you're putting in your mouth. So once you start punching it in, you will realize what you're doing and you will make better decisions and you're trying to hit the numbers that you need to hit. Now, if I ask you to eat 1,600 calories in a day, you can certainly go to McDonald's and get a Whopper and fries and you'll hit that 1,600 no problem. But if you use my fitness pal, it's going to show you the right nutrients to go into your body. So this is just the basic overview of what MyFitnessPal does. We can get into the nutrients where you get down to the sugars and the fiber and all that stuff, but we're going to save that for round two. Okay, so you are all set up. I need you to get this app, get serious about taking your food serious. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.